now serving customer 64 at window 7. Is this window 7? Yes. I'm afraid something rather complicated has happened with my driver's license. I'm so sorry to hear that. What happened? Well, you see, I moved here from another state, and I let my driver's license lapse, and... Yes? Should I wait until you finish? I don't think so. It's a very long book. But are you listening to my problem? I can read and listen at the same time. Go on. Oh. Anyway, so I took the driving test again and passed it and got this temporary license, which has now expired and I've never gotten my permanent one. And when I called about it, they said they had lost me in the computer and they had no record of my taking the test. And so they couldn't send me my license even though I did take and pass the test. Your turn to say something? Wait a minute. I wanted to finish the paragraph. Now, what seems to be the matter? Well... In one sentence. I haven't received my driver's license. Let me see if you're on the computer. I'm not on the computer. What's your name? I'm not there. How do you spell that? I'm not on the computer. I went to window three, and they said they had no record of me on the computer. I am not window three. I am window seven, and I need to know your name. James Agnes. Is that A is an aardvark, D is in kazoon tight, N is in name kapoop, E is in excruciating, S is in seltzer water. J is in Jupiter, A is in Agnes, M is in Mary, E is in excruciating, S is in slow, lingering death. Yes. Well, you're not on the computer. I told you I wasn't. Fine, I'll give you an award at the end of the day. How else may I help you? I, I would like to get my permanent license. I'm sorry, there's no record of you on the computer. Yes, but I have my temporary license. This temporary license has expired. Yes, I know it's expired. It is no longer a valid license. I know that. That's why I want my permanent one. I hadn't realized it hadn't come in the mail until this one had already expired. I had presumed everything was all right. What a funny thing to do. Say, if you don't have a valid driver's license, how did you get here to the Department of Motor Vehicles? I, I took a taxi. Can you prove that to me? What? Did you keep a receipt from the taxi? No, I didn't. I trust you did not drive here yourself. Did you, Mr. James Agnes? No, no, I realize my license is not valid. That is correct. You have an invalid license. Good morning. But you're not helping me. How may I help you? I want my driver's license. You have to take the driving test. But I took the driving test. I have no record of that. I know you have no record of it. Some schmuck lost it in the computer. Kindly do not speak Yiddish to me. If you wish to make an appointment to take the driving test, go to window four. I don't want to take that test again. Well, when did you take it before? The same date as that of my temporary license. February 3rd, 1894. The Department of Motor Vehicles did not exist in 1894. Let me see that. All right, it's a, it's a typo. It's clearly meant to be 1994. Uh, I'm willing to admit that it is most likely a typo. You see, I don't stick to the rules on everything. I am human. What's your name again? James Agnes. Is that A is an aardvark, G is in suicide. James Agnes! Well, let me see if we have record of you on the computer. You don't! You don't! I told you, you don't! Why are you shouting at me? When I'm shouted at, I don't feel like cooperating. But you haven't been cooperating! I have been cooperating! If I had not been cooperating, you would have been shouting at me much earlier than this. I want my license. Well, you can't have it. You're not on the computer. But that's not my fault. And it's not my fault. You see, we're both blameless. Isn't that a nice feeling? You are not helping me. I am doing everything in my power. But don't you have more power than you're using? Can you, for instance, 
type me into the computer and then send me my license? No. Only the secretary at the driving test site can do that. But when she forgets to do that at the time of the test, can't someone else do it? If the secretary at the driving test site is willing to write a note admitting that she had forgotten to enter your name, then I can enter you into the computer. And then we will have to fire her. Do you want her to lose her job? No, I don't. I want you to lose your job. I don't see how you can expect me to help you if you're going to be so hostile. Isn't there anything you can suggest that will solve my problem? If you could relive that initial driving test, after it was done, you could ask to watch the secretary type your name and test results into the computer. <laughs> your suggestion is that I relive the initial driving test. Uh, it's a hypothetical suggestion, I'll admit. But it's all I can think of to assist you. Can I see your supervisor, please? My supervisor is in the other room shredding documents and cannot be disturbed. Look into my eyes. I want you to tell me what I should do that will solve my problem. And I want you to tell me right now. Move out of New York. That's a good suggestion. Thank you. Ohio's nice! 